Hi darlings, how are you? This is going to be for my Libras and this is going to be a midweek check-in. I will be using my Clarity Tarot deck and to clarify, I will be using the classic tarot. I hope you guys are doing well and taking care of yourselves. So Libra, let's see what messages we have for you. Please remember to take what resonates and leave what does not. I want to welcome everyone here. Thank you for stopping by. I welcome you with open arms and oh, all my heart. I welcome you and I thank you for stopping by. Oh my. So it's been a while. <clears throat> so Libra, this is for you. The star card. Woo, you keep the faith. There is a lot of hope for your future. The Knight of Cups. Maybe there's a lot of hope where your future is concerned and love. Or you're going to be receiving loving messages. Ah, the Fool, a new beginning. The Sun, happiness. The Ace of Cups, abundance, or you are on the right path to love. The Five of Pentacles, I need you to remember that this is temporary. This is not permanent. You're in your head. You might overspend or something to do with money. Maybe funds are a little tight. We're not broke. It's just a little tight right now, okay? And you're in your head. You need to get out of your head because when you worry about money, money has a way of going the other way, okay? So don't you worry about money and don't, don't worry yourself with imaginings and worries. Worry brings worry. So, all right. The Empress, abundance, abundance. The Page of Wands, oh, playful and honest. The Three of Swords, but yet you still, you got a little heartache going on. What's going on here? You had a little argument. It's not a big, big argument. It's a little argument, okay? Arguing doesn't solve problems. Communicate, okay? Hopefully, it's someone who has understanding in the sense of communication. Okay. So, let's see. The star card. The star card. On top of the star card comes the four pentacles and the hierophant. You may be feeling a little off balance. You're feeling the... The star card means like, it's like there is hope for the future, okay? But you might be feeling a little unstable where a relationship, some kind of committed relationship is concerned. It could be a marriage or a committed relationship. Or maybe you're just feeling a little off balance um, where work is concerned. So I got the four of pentacles and I got the hierophant over the star card. All right, so if possible, depending on you, How long do you stay in that situation or in that in in that predicament? Predicament. Mm -hmm. So on top of the um on top of the Knight of Cups comes the Two of Swords and the Queen of Wands. Now with the uh, the Two of Swords here, you're gonna have to make some kind of difficult decision. Maybe it has a de de decision to do with that union. I'm not sure. But there is a Queen of Wands here. Now, the Queen of Wands could be someone in your environment. It could be a Leo, a Sagittarius, or an Aries. If that's not an energy in your environment, maybe you finally found your courage. Maybe you finally found the courage to do something, to make up your mind, make your decision, to start over, have a new beginning, because the fool is right there. Excuse me. 
Ah, you're going to go with them. You're going to complete something. You got the Hermit here and the Queen of Pentacles. Now, the Queen of Pentacles could mean that you have a business idea that you're going to go after. Or you're thinking about it. Or it could be another energy in your environment, which could be a Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn. Whichever way it is, however, it, uh, it resonates with you. There is a new beginning there, okay? There's some kind of new beginning. So that's the Hermit. You need to go within and you need to seek yourself for the answers. And the sun card, the sun card, let's see. The sun card, on top of the sun card comes the six of pentacles and the queen of swords. So the queen of swords, I will say, is you, um, you Libra. <laughs> or it could be an energy in your environment as well. It could be an air energy. It could be an Aquarius or a Gemini. However, I do see that on top of the sun card, the happiest card in the deck, I do see balances restored. And you're feeling very clear. Then you're on top of the Ace of Cups. No matter how many times they knock you down, you keep getting back up. I got the, um, the Nine of Wands here, and then I got the Five of Cups. You're going to accept your losses, okay? Whatever it is, you're going to start healing. You're going to look behind you and then you're going to go back there and you're going to cry and you're going to do all what you need to do in order to heal, all right? Because you're going to cut them losses, you're going to let go of that baggage and you're going to start brand new. So we got the Nine of Wands and the Five of Cups above the Ace of Cups. Okay, so there is a, some new beginning here. You're on the right path to something. But you can't get out of your head here. I got the Five of Pentacles. On top of the Five of Pentacles comes the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords is a painful ending. Whenever I look at this card, I always feel like it's the past. You know, because a lot of times we do bring the past into the present. And when we bring the past into the present, we can't move forward. So I look at the Ten of Swords as the past that you're bringing forward with you. That's why you are in your head. That's why you're in the mindset of lack. However, darling, do some healing because you got the, you got the Nine of Pentacles here, okay? You're going to start seeing your rewards. You're going to start seeing good things happen. You're going to start seeing abundance, all right? You need to believe in yourself. So on top of the Empress here, we got the High Priestess. You need to start listening to you a little bit more. Start trusting yourself. Start healing. Trust yourself with love, okay? Love and light. Take care of you. Stop being harsh to yourself. I got the abundance, and on top of the abundance, um, I'm so sorry, I got the high priestess, and on top of the high priestess comes the death card. Now, the death card doesn't mean physical death, okay? Now, this could be the ending of something and the beginning of something new. It's like shedding the old for the new. You just need to use your intuition. Maybe you're becoming very clear. So clear that you can start seeing things. Trust yourself. The High Priestess and the Death card. And then we got the Page of Wands here. We got the Page of Wands. Let's see what the Page of Wands says here. On top of the Page of Wands, we got the Seven of Swords. You expecting betrayal and deception, you know, from people. Stop looking back. Stop expecting the worst to happen. Because I see here the Two of Cups as well. The Two of Cups is something unified, like a togetherness, okay? Don't let the past hinder your happiness. So that's how I'm going to read that. Because it can be playful, all right? And it can be very loving, so this is the Seven of Swords and the Two of Cups. And I'm going to say the Seven of Swords is like self-fulfilling prophecy. You keep looking back, expecting the worst to happen. If you do that, the worst will happen. Okay, babies? So come on now. And then it's going to give you a broken heart. But on top of the broken heart comes the, um, the Judgment card and the Knight of Pentacles. You're going to feel rejuvenated. You're going to feel everything is fine again. You're going to feel all oh, brand new, full of life, darling. So give yourself a break in your manifestations and your hard work is going to pay off. All right, darling. So start healing. I love you. You take care of yourselves and we will chat soon. Bye.